Welcome back. I have Percy with me today. He's going to be showing you how to use your Play-Doh mats. We have number and word Play-Doh mats. First, we're going to show you how to do the number Play-Doh mats. You need to make sure you have all your tools together. First, you need Play-Doh. Right there. Then you need some counters. Percy's going to use the yellow and red tokens. He's just going to put them on his near his mat so he can fill them in in a minute. And then you need your Unifix cubes. That should be plenty. Okay. You also need your wipe off marker and something to erase it with when you're finished. Now we are using a wipe off marker because we are using a sheet protector to protect our paper. If you do not have a plastic sheet protector to protect your paper, you may use crayons or whatever you'd like to show six. Be careful not to push too hard on your Play-Doh or it will stick to your paper. Now, when you're making your six for Play-Doh, first you need to make a snake. So squeeze it out. You might have to move it off of your mat first and put it on placemat or another surface. Make sure that you're not getting any Play-Doh on your mom's table, floor, anywhere that it's going to be difficult to get up. Please be very careful with your tools. If you end up with your Play-Doh in the carpet, you won't have any left to do any more of your Play-Doh mats. Percy is making a long snake. He might even have to break it in two and make two snakes. Now we have two snakes. He's going to use one of them at a time and put them on his six to make a six. He's going to wind it around starting at the top and going down. and then winding around the circle with the other part. Now he has a six made out of Play-Doh. Then he's going to trace the number six with his wipe off marker. Down in a loop, a six looks like a basketball hoop. Six. One more, six. Now he's going to put the lid back on his marker so that it doesn't dry out. And he's going to build six with his Unifix blocks. He can build it in a tower or he can lay them all out in whatever kind of shape he'd like. As long as he only uses Six. Six. Very good. Good job. Now, let's go back to our wipe off marker and show me six. Show me six means draw a picture of six things. What are you drawing, Percy? A donut. Percy is drawing six donuts. Yum. Make sure when you're using your wipe off marker that you are not pushing very hard because the top will go up inside your marker and you won't have a useful marker any longer. Make sure that you're doing it very lightly.
with any marker that you're using. Those look like they have yummy sprinkles on them, Percy. They do. Wonderful. Now he's going to take his tokens and show six on the ten frame. So he'll need to fill up as he goes. He chose to put three on the top and three on the bottom. What is another way that you could have shown us six, Percy? Very good, by putting five on the top and one on the bottom. Three plus three equals six, five plus one equals six. Good job, Percy. And thank you to everybody out there watching. The next time we come back with our Play-Doh mats, we will have the Play-Doh words. Try to do one Play-Doh mat a day so that you keep practicing. Have fun, stay safe, and I hope to see you soon.